So what am I doing right now and how do I see the market? Founder Radio, building a wealthy community. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, thank you for clicking on me. I promise to do my best to disappoint. Wait a minute, not to disappoint. That's not that funny. Anyhow, I would like to ask, undeservedly probably, could you hit the like button and help me spread this disaster throughout the internet? For those of you who have been, thank you, thank you. I hit a thousand subs. All right, that's enough of that cheering. I get carried away with the editor. Do you like it when people toot their own horn? Nah, I don't either. But whose horn are you supposed to toot after all? So here we go. I've been saying since March 2022, that I've been stacking dollars because the Fed said they're going to raise interest rates. Have I bought some gold and silver since then? Yes. And have I been buying it like a big rabid pig foaming at the mouth? No. I snacked on some gold at 1630 and I still buy silver just a little bit each week, but nothing real significant. I'm not backing the truck up. <laughs> I will. Believe me when the time comes. I gotta be honest with you folks, when I hear the mainstream media talking about de-dollarizing, the same mainstream media that is really never seem to care about any of our well-beings. And personally, I believe that's become very obvious over the past few years or so. They're all talking about de-dollarization. Them? Come on. When I hear these clowns talk about de-dollarizing, the contrarian in me thinks, dollarize. So I think I'm ahead of them by a year. How do I do it? Well, it's simple. I pretend I'm them, the bad guy, and what would I do? If I was them and I wanted to shake some wealth from the peasant masses, I would need to rock the boat and then go to the other side. I mean, if you can control the herd, then why couldn't you control the opportunities? And I think pulling those levers becomes more necessary the more the public becomes well-informed. I know, it seems like it's coming from a dark place now, doesn't it? I don't look at it as some super villain who just wants to see you suffer. It's just people like you and me who want to eat snacks, have friends, use the toilet once in a while, and maybe be safe, you know, not get killed by mobs of hand-to-mouth peasants who just want everything for free. These are just my speculations. But me personally, I don't believe someone is good or bad inherently just because they're wealthy or powerful. Same goes for poor, dirty people. I don't necessarily hate them either. They could be awesome. And they could be tomorrow's rich people. You never know. A shower and a smile on a regular basis can go a long, long way. All right, crunch time. Gotta go to work. So in a nutshell, here's what I think and what I'm doing. Over the past couple weeks, I shed some of my larger, low-premium gold pieces. Would I recommend this for someone who has small pieces with high premiums? Probably not. I shed some silver a month ago when it was like 26 bucks. Again, that was bars, not like little pieces. And it wasn't a lot. I just let a little steam out of the engine, that's all. Long term, I believe gold and silver are the place to be, and I'll never get rid of all of it. Never. In fact, I just got rid of some of it. It is true wealth and pristine collateral, in my opinion. I constantly have my eyes on Bitcoin, but I'm not buying it, but I have some. I'm not touching stocks, and I'm hoarding cash, waiting for things to go on sale. And I'm not gonna buy any seemingly distressed thing until I can see the whites of their eyes as they really need this currency, because they simply do not have any. Don't hate the player, hate the game. You made it to the end. Give yourself a pat on the back, smart guy, or gal. <laughs>